at the head of Tamales Bay in West Marin County, by the banks of Lagunitas Creek, below the community of Point Reyes Station, and in the shadow of the Point Reyes Peninsula, levees came down. Land was sculpted. Native vegetation took root and salt water from the bay waited to reclaim a storied dairy ranch. Soon, nature was coming home. I'm not gonna be shy about it. I'm gonna have goosebumps in the sense that, again, this is a legacy project. We worked 10 years to get it done. It's gonna be breathtaking. You know, I don't wanna miss it because it's just, it's just one of those moments that, that moment may not be so ecologically significant just that moment, but it's the beginning of so much and you just wanna be there. So. It's going to be breathtaking. On the weekend of October 25th and 26th, 2008, water from Tamales Bay will flow when this dike is removed into this waiting slough and begin to spread across hundreds of acres of the old Giacomini Dairy Ranch. This lovely landscape will become a rich wetland again, as it once had been for thousands of years. It was like, I always believed this land wanted to come back and wanted to be wetlands, and, and, and I think that's what I feel, is that excitement of it's happening. It's going to open the door, and now it's happening. Uh, it will not only be habitat for wildlife, but it's really a matter of the breathing, this natural, wonderful breathing of this life thing that we have here, that we call nature. And uh, it is the lungs. There it is, the lungs of the bay. The bay is Tamales Bay a narrow inlet riding from south to north atop the San Andreas Fault. At the southern edge of the bay, the flat land below, is the dairy ranch purchased by the Giacomini family in the 1940s. With the support of the Army Corps of Engineers, the family built dikes and channeled Lagunitas Creek, blocked the intrusion of salt water from Tamales Bay, and ultimately expanded the ranch to 560 acres. In the year 2000, the Giacomini sold their ranch to the federal government to create the wetland that will bear the family's name. The transition, though, is a bittersweet mixture of pride and regret. Rich Giacomini was raised on the ranch and worked it with his father, Waldo, for many decades. Well, we'd rather still be here in the, in the dairy business. Uh, no, I think it's, a, it's an honor to my father to have, it, have his name on it. Uh, he put his whole life into this ranch, and uh, uh, he he really enjoyed it. He enjoyed what he did, and, and you know what what he accomplished. We wanted to make sure that it represented the family, so we ended up calling it the Giacomini Wetlands Restoration Project as a tribute to the the family that held this land in trust for over 50 years. In early October of 2008, the transformation from ranch land to wetland was close to completion. And crews worked quickly against the clock. They tore down levees and berms that for years had separated salt water from pasture land. They shoveled and smoothed marsh soil and seeds onto barren ground. They finished constructing refuges to give threatened black rails and clapper rails high and dry terrain in times of flood. They planted native vegetation to provide the vulnerable rails shelter from their predators. They rolled out blankets to keep soil from eroding. And they cleared sloughs of cattails that would slow incoming water from the bay. To get here, it took 10 years of scientific analysis, careful planning and hard work, $10 million from many sources the collaboration of numerous public and private agencies and organizations and volunteers, and the support of the community. Finally, the canvas was almost ready for nature to paint. Nature's gonna do a lot of the work itself, meaning a lot of the replanting, we're gonna do some, but it will, again, once we get it, the water there, uh, the wetlands will reestablish themselves. We've seen it in other places and it's gonna happen here. I, I think I get to a point where I, I want to jump up and down and say, we did it, we did it, here come, here come the saltwater fish, here come everything in through the breach. And I think that's, that's the exciting part is that it will happen so quickly. I think, I hope, I don't know, but I hope that with the restoration of this ranch, the south end of the bay will really get a, a boost of energy. And we may see more shorebirds using Tamales Bay. 
is what I'm hoping, because I suspect that those that depend on the south end of the bay are going to get a big habitat boost. Build the framework, invite nature to do the work, and the wildlife should follow. Wintering shorebirds in great numbers, herons and egrets, and many other animals of the air and of the sea. The new wetlands nursery will sustain and nurture four endangered species, coho salmon, steelhead trout, the red-legged frog, and the tidewater goby. And it will help clean the water of Tomales Bay by doubling the size of the estuary's marshlands. It will restore 12 percent of the outer coastal wetlands of central California. The Giacomini wetland is a very big project. We need to think big. There's nothing wrong with actually getting a big project like this done. And as a matter of fact, it, it is getting done. It will be done. So the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit. I want my grandchildren and great-grandchildren to actually enjoy this bay as beautiful as it is. And actually, we want to even improve it. So that becomes some, some sort of a career, doesn't it? It's in the heart. It's not really in just, it's, it's just part of your soul. For all of those whose vision and labor is on the verge of literally coming to life, there's a genuine sense of hope and inspiration. So for me, I'm going to be inspired, I'm going to feel hopeful, I'm going to feel like we've really accomplished something that really is a legacy for the nation. For this community, um, you know, it's, it's been a long, long road to get here, but it's going to be such a treasure for this local community to have this wetlands because people are going to come from everywhere to see it, I'm sure of that. And so it's not only a national treasure, it's, it's a local treasure, it's a Bay Area treasure. And so the stage at last is set for nature to make her grand and much anticipated entrance. Everybody expects she'll put on quite a show. I feel like we're blessed. We truly are blessed. We're blessed with this. It's uh, Mother Earth is amazing. And we are part of it. And it's just amazing. So I feel like we're blessed. And a story. But of course, the story of the Giacomini wetland is not ending, it's just beginning. On a beautiful Saturday afternoon, Dan Rogers carefully carved away the last layers of soil separating Tamales Bay from the old Giacomini Dairy Ranch. A crowd gathered by the lower Tomasini Slough and high on a nearby ridge to watch. Photographs were taken, and interviews were conducted by the media. Finally, at 1.25 p.m., the final scraps of dirt gave way, and the water rushed home. For those who came to look, and those who had worked on the project for many years, Emotions flowed as freely as the water. It's just so exciting to see this happen, and I started even describe it. I was a little choked up, <laughs> but um, I think the way we're able to do this to see the water rush in, I mean, it's just that much more special because it just it really gives you this, this sense of immediacy that it's coming back right now. And this is it. It's starting. The clock is starting now. You know, the hand of man created this this blockage of nature some time ago and the hand of man has now brought it back. And that's what's so exciting. And whatever happens after this point, after today, is up to nature, it's not up to us. I think what really makes it worthwhile is the fact that the community is so supportive. I feel like that's added an extra touch to this project. That to feel their, their enthusiasm has been infectious in a way. And just you know, to have people constantly tell us how excited they are and they couldn't wait for this day to come. The crowd lingered near the water's edge a while longer. In a little bit, a second, smaller slough was also open. And 
the construction manager, Tony Williams, became the first kayaker to follow the water of Lagunitas Creek into the brand new Jackamini wetland. You know, future generations may not remember what happened here today or what we experienced, but my grandchildren and great-grandchildren and your grandchildren will forever appreciate what we did here today or what we accomplished. This wetland is for future generations and thank you very much. The next afternoon, a big celebration was held by the Red Barn at Point Reyes National Seashore. From the Prince of the Point Reyes National Seashore Association is Sally Bolger. She walks on water too. The many people who'd worked together for so long to bring the wetland to life were honored and toasted all around. Toast to the future of the Giacomini wetlands. May it be full of wildlife, good water quality, and great things in the future. They're here. But the biggest event of the day had taken place a little earlier. On that Sunday morning, 500 people from the community walked across the old ranch to witness for themselves the rising tide inch in. I honestly didn't know your heart could break with joy. But yesterday when we breached the levee, that was the only way I could describe it, to see the water come through after so much work and effort and just passion to get this job done and to have it, you know, Mother Nature just break through the levee and come in, the only way I could describe it is joy. And here we are today seeing this first high tide come into this tiny little channel and literally see the water creep back in for the first time in 60 years. How well, excitement doesn't do it. Joy is the only way, only word I can use. Well, thank you. Was a great yeah. A lot of people felt the simple joy of watching water slowly reclaim the ground and sticking bare feet into soft new mud. Mother Nature is going to turn this into what it ought to be. And that's the hope. I think that's the energy that you're feeling here. And everybody just, the support of the community for all of these years has been just tremendous. And now to be able to share this particular moment with the community who have wanted it so much, how can, I mean, it is just a gift to me and to everybody who's been involved to be able to share it. That's the gift. Three days later, from the air, it was easy to see that the wetland was already getting much wetter. By then, the water from Tamales Bay covered the northern two-thirds of the Giacomini wetland. Its story was just beginning to unfold and would continue for years to come. It's very exciting. Yeah, I mean, anybody that's spent a long time watching wildlife in West Marin can only be completely delighted and excited about this because it's huge. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's, it's just a big area. And it's going to be great to watch. And the watching has just begun.